I should have just played dead, man. I always said that's what I would do if somebody was trying to kill me. Just play dead. I mean, they'd be like, we're gonna kill you! And then I'd be like, dead. And then they'd be like, oh, he's dead. Let's go kill somebody else. And then they would leave. Hey there, it's uh, Dave Burgess here. I'm the uh, 11 Second Club mentor this month. So I get the honor of uh, critiquing your 11 Second Clip, which is awesome. Um, if you don't know me, uh, I've been a mentor since the beginning, on and off. I've taken a couple of breaks. Um, I worked at Disney in the 90s on a lot of the, uh, the 2D films that people seem to like. And um, I've been at DreamWorks for the last 15 years. I'm currently the head of animation on Trolls. And um, if you want to look me up, you can find me uh, on IMDB, Dave Burgess, um, animator. I think there's a bunch of Dave and David Burgesses, but look for the one with all the animation credits. That's probably me. Um, so anyway, uh, it's really, really cool to see your piece. Um, I love the energy of it. I think um, there's a lot of really nice variety in your posing. Um, I think there's some really, really cool stuff going on. I particularly like uh, when your guy plays dead. I think this is super cool. I love that kind of um, distortion that you're really, really bending that 3D rig to your will. And I think that looks really fantastic. I love when people do stuff like that. Um, and actually, the, the thing that you do right here, I know I'm jumping ahead of myself, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm here. The thing right here where you've actually got, you're hitting your poses really hard, and I can see that's something that you feel pretty strongly about. Most of your poses, you're hitting them pretty hard. Um, there's still some really nice secondary action and overlap on that leg and foot. And it's subtle, but what it does is it really breaks up the, the locked feeling of the pose. And I think if you can take that and pepper it throughout the entire shot, I think the shot's going to feel more alive. Um, right now, my only, really my only uh, comments are going to be on loosening things up a little bit more because it feels a little bit posy. Um, so in this, I think you did a fantastic job. And I just want to see more of that elsewhere. So um, to begin, um, I like your pose here. I think that looks really good. Um, I personally love really, really graphic shapes in brows and stuff. So if it was up to me and I could get a little bit more of a graphic shape like that, I would try and do it. Kind of working underneath the, the fingers like that. I just think that looks a little more, I don't know, a little more interesting. Um, another thing you might want to try is just getting pushing for a little bit more asymmetry in the mouth. And ideally, I know it's hard to do, but if you do push this side up a little bit, you're actually going to feel a little bit more compression up here. You're going to push this nose up a little bit more as well. So you're going to use that mouth to kind of push that whole side of the face up just a little bit. And that's going to feel really good. It's, again, it's just going to give you a nicer sense of of, uh, of overall appeal and the fact that the face is really nice and connected. You know, when you move this, it actually affects everything all the way up. Um, so let's see. So from there, you should have just played. Um, I guess for me too. Once again, when I'm going down like this, this looks really, really great. Um, getting that little antic in there. Um, what I usually do if I'm anticking the body down. I usually try to rotate the head up a little bit to get an opposing action. Right now you're bringing everything down like this, so it might have been fun to just rotate that head up just a little bit, just for these first couple of frames. You know what I mean? Like that. So the nose is here, the mouth is here. So the head's going up as the body's going down, like that. And then you could also get a little bit of a pull on this on this hand this way, like that, which would also look really, really good. So the hand is kind of moving up along with the head, kind of like this, right, as the body is going down. And that will give you um, just some really nice complexity in the overall action. Um, and for here, too, now you're changing into your next, next expression, which is this. So I would love to see some extreme compression right in here. You know, really, really push that guy. Once again, you can get a little more asymmetry in there, too. Um, and it's not even so much about um, squashing and stretching the head. You certainly could do that. You could, uh, you know, squash that head a little bit like that. That would be totally fine. You could bring those shoulders up a little bit, too, just to get, uh, get a little more... Um, a little more of the body working together. 
Um, but the thing you want to do is you want to get a big pop from there to there, right? And so the more you can get like this kind of squashy feeling in here, the more you're going to get a bigger pop there. And then um, to me, when you go into this pose, uh, which looks really cool, um, I would overshoot those brows a little bit. I would try to get them up a little higher, I'd get those eyes open just a little bit more, like that, just to overshoot that just a teeny bit, and then settle into that, like that. And so what you're going to get is from that to that to that, and it's going to feel really, really nice and organic. It's going to loosen that whole area up. Um, another thing that I think is is can be super helpful is your hand pose here looks really good. I like how you're drifting into it. That feels really nice. But one thing that you may want to do is like when you first hit there, go ahead and and like uh, loosen those fingers up a little bit more. You know, get them to open up just a tad like this. Kind of like that, right? So that when you go from there to there, they kind of, they sort of go like that. Like they open a little bit more and then settle. So you're kind of building in an overshoot into those fingers. And that feels really, really good too. Um, I guess the other thing that, yeah, is along in here like I did in that drawing, the more you can, like, again, oppose those actions, bring those shoulders up as the body's going down, that's going to feel really, really good. Um, they dead, man. Um, I think you're, what you're doing here, too, you're, you're really hitting the phrasing hard with your body accents, and I think that feels really good for the style that you're they going did, for. Man. Um, I think if you want to, like here, I love how you're changing those eye shapes, but once again, you can probably go further with pushing those brows down a little bit more like that, like that, you know, um, just to get a little bit more punch in there. And once again, you can overshoot here a little bit and then come back down like that. Um, um, I like that you're bringing the hands in before you go out. That feels really, really great to me. Um, but once again, remember, the more you can kind of offset these fingers and stuff, the better it's going to look. So, you know, rolling like that, the, keeping that pinky behind a little bit, overshooting a little bit like that, getting a little bit of offset on that thumb, that's going to feel really good like that. And then kind of the same here. This other hand is feeling a little bit locked. So right in through here, I would try to roll it in even tighter. You know, just to feel compression like that. And then roll it out. And when you hit the out, go ahead and like unroll it that little bit more like that. And then it's going to go right into what you have. It's going to feel really, really good. Man, I always say... Um, here, when you're, when you're doing your arm drop, I like how you're kind of breaking that action up. That feels good. Um, once again, if you want, you could probably just curl those fingers a little bit more as we're dropping, like that, just to feel a little bit more drag on those hands. Um, and then here, coming up into your next your next main pose in this. Um, this is really nice, I think, in terms of the, the expression. You've got some nice asymmetry in there. Once again, I think if you can just push that a little bit more, like that, it's just going to look a little bit nicer. And then the mouth shape looks really good. Those ooh shapes are super duper important. It looks really good. Um, but once again, with those hands, I kind of feel like they're just sort of coming up and stopping. I think you can build in a little bit more offset. In I always there. say that's what I would do with somebody trying. And then, um, and then here, when you get into this pose, you might want to bring those shoulders up a little bit more too. So it's, I always say that's what I would do. You know, so you're getting a little bit more of a change there, like that. Um, I really like how you're you're transitioning from this to this. Um, See, that's what I would do with somebody. Um, I feel like right through here, though, your root is a little stuck. I, I think there's, a, there's an accent right here where you could just bring that TY up just a smidge and get a really nice sense of like that and then settle. I think that would feel good. Really right. um, and then here, I like, again, I like the energy in through here. 
I like how you're you're doing the, um, the quick look to the side. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably lead um, with one more frame uh, with those eyes to the side like that. And again, if you can push this down a little bit more, maybe open that up a little bit more, you're just going to get a slightly more appealing pose. Again, a little more, a little more offset in the mouth, a little more asymmetry there. Um, and then in here, again, if you can just change that shape a little bit like that, that's going to feel really, really great. Um, I think it's okay that you're not leading with the eyes there, but I would actually keep those brows down for another frame like this. Get those eyes over like that. And then go ahead and do that and get into this. That's going to feel really good. Just having that little bit of delay like that. And then um, here the, the hands, you've got a little bit of lead on that one hand, which is great. It's nice to get a little teeny bit of offset in some of your actions. But once again, I sort of wish when this hand came up, like right through here, you just opened it up a little bit wider, like that. And on this one, it would be a, a frame earlier, like that, right? So you're getting a little bit wider, and then it's settling in like this. And you could even compress those fingers a little bit more. Um, and on this, when he goes into his extreme down like that, um, I think that's good. But again, if you can if you can crunch those brows down more, get this get those lid shapes kind of the way you want it, that's going to feel even better. You know, pull the sneer up on the one side of the mouth like that. That's going to look really, really good. Hey, just play there. Um, and then here, you know, again, this would be super cool if you had a little bit more open on those fingers here, like this. Maybe you can see a little bit of that thumb. And then snapping into that, you're going to get a really, really nice sense of that uh, that mass moving. It's going to feel nice and organic. I, I think this pose looks really good. Just play. Um, let me go back here for one sec. Me. Just play. Yeah, that's nice and tight. That feels really good. Once again here. Oops, you could pull those shoulders up a little bit higher if you wanted to. Play there. Um, and here, I wonder, you're sort of saying play dead. And there's a, to me, the one tiny negative thing about this is I feel like you're hitting every single, like, accent. There's something on everything. So in that case, to me, it might have been a place where you could just go play dead and just let him do the one thing instead of play dead. It's play dead. And um, you can get a little bit of accent on the head, but, but the body isn't really making a big shift for the two words. You're dealing with it more as a phrase. Kill me. Just play dead. You know? And, and to me, it would just have been like going, losing this and going straight to that and then that. And um, once again here, I feel like your, your hands are a little locked in terms of the overshoots and stuff. You could have over shot just a little bit like this. <laughs> um, it's always fun. Um, whenever I change, uh, whenever I use my keyboard, it changes the pencil color on me. But I don't mind. It keeps it fun. Um, you know what I mean? And then from that, and then you're going to feel the hands come in a little bit, like play did, like that. And then because the body is a little bit more still in there, I think that that nice little head accent that you've got right there where you're doing that little side thing, that's going to be more readable because there's less going on, there's less distracting. You might even put in a little zigzag, play dead, like that. I mean, they'd be like... And then here, this, this looks really good to me. Um, again, the only thing is if you can get those, that, those lids to close this way, he looks like uh, Picard. <laughs> in this frame. Um, but I think that would feel really good. Um, and here, I love that you're using one hand after a lot of the, you know, the, the slightly offset two-handed gestures. It's nice to go with something really one-handed. That feels really great. Um, and then, once again, maybe with this pose, you could just pull this brow down just a shade, get this guy up a little bit more like that. And I love that you're getting this 
this asymmetrical uh, mouth shape on there. That feels really, really great. Uh, you might even be able to get, like, uh, just scale this eye up just a teeny bit, like that, so that this one is a little bigger than the other one, like that. So what you're doing is you're, you're you know, you're, um, you're opening that whole face out like that. We're gonna and then I love the way you're transitioning over to those other guys. That feels really, really cool. Um, I like this. Um, in some ways, I love how you're starting with your face. Oops, you're, you got your face going this way, and then you're coming in, and you're kind of moving it off to the side. You might even be able to push it a little bit more and get like a little bit more like that, you know? Like really push that, that side angle. I think that's going to feel really great. And then once again, you're you're hitting those poses really hard, but uh, I think you can overshoot and settle just a little bit, like on that on those hands. Like instead of slowing in, this would actually be a little further out, like that. And then it would pop into that, and that would feel really really great. Maybe on this one you could drag it just a little bit more, like that you and then I'll be like and um, this actually this whole section feels three or four frames late to me I'd rather have it be I'm gonna kill you and hit that pose a little earlier um, I feel like you're right on the edge of being behind the dial kill you and then I you know so you want to hit this a couple frames earlier so um, I think it's worth sliding that action up like try three frames and see how that works um, I think it'll feel a lot more in sync with the with the track. Kill you um, I like what you're doing with the guys in the background, too. You're keeping them alive, but they're not super distracting, which is great. If you wanted to, uh, you could probably take the one guy over there and just do one of those. <laughs> uh, that might be kind of fun. Um, and then I'd be like, dead. And then this, I talked about this, I love this. Um, again, your mouth shape there looks really good. Um, You might want to scale those hands up even a little bit more than you have here, you know, just to kind of force that perspective, sort of like that, you know. I think it looks fun to, to really push that stuff like that. And again, maybe you can get a little bit more asymmetry in there, in those brows. And then the mouth shape looks really cool. And then I'd be like, dead. This is awesome. I love that. And then they'd be like... Um, and here, yeah, I love cutting back to this guy, and he's all like, mm hmm Again, you might be able to just push that a little bit more, get a little bit more white around the eyes, uh, around the iris and pupil, to make them look a little bit more, like, shocked, sort of like that. You know what I mean? Just push that pose a little bit more. Oh, he's dead. Let's go... And then here, um, I like how you're snapping back there. I love that little drag on the head. Um, except I think you can go lower on this, like that. And then again, shoot a, a little overshoot in there would be really nice. You could probably get a little offset like that in those brow shapes. That would feel really Let's good. Let's go kill somebody else. Uh, I like how you're you're leading this over here like this. Um, Again, maybe you want to, oops, maybe you want to um, lead a little bit more with those eyes, like that. I don't know if you need a full blink there, but you could do it if you want. Let's go kill somebody else. And then, and then here, um, somebody else. This is one, too, where it's, he's going somebody else, and you're doing a really nice job of keeping that phrase nice and solid. That feels really good. Um, again, I would, oops, I would try to get a little bit more uh, expansion on those fingers, and then let it settle a little bit. Like somebody else. And then they would leave. And, and then this is really cool, and then I feel like, again, with this, you could push this a little bit more like that. Uh, try to get a little bit more asymmetry in that mouth. Um, I kind of wish that this hand...
started to open a little bit earlier, like that. And then, and then you can go here. And then once again, I think you can make a, a slightly bigger arc on that. See, maybe this should come up a little bit higher. So your next one's going to be out here, then you're going to be over here, and then you're going to be here, and then you're going to settle here like that. And that's going to feel really good. So you're building in just a little bit more of an arc mm. through that. Press this a little bit more, and then overshoot a little bit more here as well. Maybe get a little bit more, you know, uh, here you've got this eye a little bit bigger. You could probably push that a little bit more, like that. And then uh, the same with that other hand. Just make sure that the, the fingers, you know, they have a little bit of a, of a change to them, like that. And then go into this. And then um, as he does that settle, I think you can get those shoulders to come up. So he's leave, uh, and you kind of offset those shoulders a little bit so they rise before they drop. And then um, when he does his final look over at us, I just wonder whether you, it's worth getting a little bit of a head tilt in there like that. Just to um, push that pose a little bit like that. And I think that's all I got. So um, anyway, I hope my comments make sense. Um, thing looks really, really great. I just think loosening those few things up, looking for those places to get, you know, uh, overshoots and compressions, uh, pushing your, um, your extremes a little bit more in places on the face, just going to make the whole thing a lot more fun. So um, thanks so much for your hard work, and um, good luck to you. I'll see you around. Bye for now.